Today we're going to be speaking about the Super Bowl, which is um, something that I'm completely unfamiliar with, but um, I've had a dream about the Super Bowl, so I'm just going to share my dream. And I would like to just say I'm really sorry if I'm sharing things that are negative. Um, there's a lot going on in the world and as a watchman I'm just sharing what the Lord is giving to me to share and it's to prepare people um, in their hearts and their minds it's not to um, add to the already growing amount of um, information that's out there so this is specific for um, a specific nation it doesn't apply to everybody and so um, even though it doesn't apply to everybody I, I would hope that the people who watch me from different countries could pray for America because it seems as though um, there's a lot going on with this particular country so if you could show your support in the comments section and just say that you are praying for America that would be uh, encouraging to the Americans who listen to my channel. So I had this dream about the Super Bowl and <clears throat> the very important thing to remember, I'm sorry if my voice is a bit husky, I've been shouting and praying for three days now. So I've, I've lost, uh, well this morning I lost my voice but it's come back and it's a little bit husky at the moment. So um, I um, I had this dream and the most important thing to remember about this dream is that um, it happened after the Super Bowl, after the Super Bowl, right? So in the dream I saw a empty uh, football stadium, I saw an empty football stadium. I saw an empty football stadium and I'm sorry I couldn't find a better picture this is what I could find in terms of something being empty but I saw the empty football stadium in my dream <clears throat> and then the next thing that I saw is that there was lots of blood and I've I've never seen so much blood in my life it was the most blood I've ever seen in my life and the blood was coming out of a white building it was seeping out of a white building and it wouldn't stop like the white was so contrasting in the dream to the red and it was coming out of the walls of the white building now um, this is the picture of a white building that I could find um, and on I was standing in between the empty stadium where the Super Bowl had been played and on the one side I saw the empty stadium and then on the other side I saw this was going on there was a white building and the building was seeping blood like lots and lots of blood lots of blood it was like I said it was the most blood I've ever seen and um, it just it it was actually it was so it was so intense what I was seeing in terms of how much blood was coming out of the building and and that's what I saw and then I woke up and the Lord <clears throat> would sometimes have me share things together if you watch my channel you know that it's a common practice for the Lord to put things together in a presentation and if you watch my previous video on Charles the uh, King Charles, uh, the Lord said to me in my original video to put uh, Pepe coin and Charles together. And so for this particular video, he wanted me to share two dreams. So the first dream is about the Super Bowl. And the second dream is that I saw Americans crying. I saw Americans crying. They were crying. They were crying. The Americans were crying. I saw them crying. <clears throat> And there was a loss of a person there was a loss of a person and um, this dream was unfolding um, at an airport 
and airports represent transition. Um, when you interpret what an airport means, it means transition. So that's what I saw. I saw Americans crying. And then I saw um, um, they were hugging. The Americans were hugging each other, like almost as if embracing their best friends. It, it looked like they were embracing people close to them, like their best friends for comfort. And I saw a big wound. It created a big wound, this loss. It created a big wound. And I saw many Americans hurt. I saw them being hurt. So <clears throat> that was the dream about the Super Bowl. What's important to know about the Super Bowl is that this happened when the stadium was empty, so the game had been played. And then afterwards, I saw the blood, the copious amounts of blood coming out of the building. So um, it was strange because on one side I had this field, and then the, on, on the other side I had this building, which was uh, bleeding with blood. So I would ask you all to pray, and I, I'm really sorry about um, the negative dreams that I'm, I'm sharing. Um, as a watchman, I'm just trying to do my job, and I was asking the Lord, is it necessary, Lord, is it necessary, Lord, is it necessary that I share these things? And the Lord wants me to share. So like I said, I'm not from America, and I don't know anything about the Super Bowl. Actually, I've never watched a Super Bowl in my entire life. Um, and um, I don't even know how it works, or what goes on with that particular event. So you guys can uh, use your discernment and just ask the Holy Spirit for, uh, you know, if what I'm saying is correct or um, ask the Holy Spirit to, to just test this particular dream, test this word. So guys, I'm going to sign out by saying that um, I've been praying very heavily for America, for the people, the nation, the Super Bowl, and if you guys could also just pray. And oh, before I go, you see, I was going to forget. One of the things the Lord said to me is that the, the Super Bowl is going to be a catalyst. Whatever happens on this, I'm not sure if there's rituals that occur with this event, like rituals. So this event is going to be a catalyst for this event. So somehow these two things are linked, the Super Bowl and this, they're linked. And I don't know how they're linked, but they are linked. So um, yeah, the Lord was saying that after the, 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 the rituals are, have been done, whatever rituals they do, at this particular event when the field is empty and then this is what's going to occur afterwards right so afterwards now the Lord did not give me a timeline for how how long this event is to this event right so it's all I know is that it's afterwards but this is a catalyst uh, for this particular event so like I said please pray for um, America um, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everybody who supports the ministry. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all the uh, emails I get. For um, So many people write in, and I'm sorry if I don't get the opportunity to reply all of you. It's um, quite a heavy job being a watchman, but I so appreciate every email. I appreciate everybody. And I appreciate all your prayers. The most important thing you can give to this ministry, I was discussing this uh, yesterday with my group, because I've got a group. Um, the most important thing you can give is prayer, right? So if you can't donate for any reason, or if you can't uh, support for any, pray, pray, because you have that power to pray. Pray for people, pray for other people. Okay, guys? Thank you very much for watching. Shabbat Shalom.